Hey guys, I just wanted to put a quick video together, talk about the eviction moratorium. There's some big news that came out yesterday about the eviction notice. So for those of you that don't know what the eviction moratorium is, the, um, the government put together during COVID that any renters that were struggling to pay their rent during COVID were not gonna be forced out of their home. Well, as of yesterday, there was a decision made by the Supreme Court, six, six to three decision, that ruled that uh, it will no longer continue. So what does that mean for you? How may that affect you? How may that affect other people? That's what we're gonna talk about here on this, on this video. So again, my name is Dennis Henderson. I'm with Dean Henderson Group. We focus on real estate, all things real estate in the area. Uh, we're based out of the greater Tampa Bay area. Check us out. We got a bunch of links below to talk about information you can find more about this. So again, uh, if you're curious about what to do, let's say that you're either in a situation or you know somebody that's a, in a situation that's not been paying rent due to COVID, being out of work as so many people were during the COVID pandemic, um, there's nearly $50 billion in government aid to help repay either back rent uh, and possible future rent up to a year and a half. So I'm gonna be putting some links below where you can find some more information to be able to help you out over that. Also, I wanna talk a little bit about landlord advice because uh, landlords have been affected probably the most during the pandemic. Some have even lost uh, a lot of what they've been working on uh, for so many years because of the decision that was made. So I wanted to give a little bit of landlord advice for a minute. You know, the last thing anybody really wants to do is see somebody get kicked out of their home for an eviction notice. My first suggestion would be to reach out to your tenants and let them know about the government aid that's available. Again, that information is going to be listed below. Um, eviction is obviously the next step. The, the problem is going to be because there's so many people that are uh, having issues right now, just because the eviction notice gets lifted doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's going to be out of their house overnight. Uh, there's still the court system here in the state of Florida. You have to go through the sheriffs uh, and the sheriffs are the one that uh, serve that eviction notice after going through the court to get that proceeding because of the large amount of people that are faced with this, it's not gonna be an overnight occurrence. It's gonna, my suspicion is it's gonna take quite a bit of time. So my immediate advice to you is to make sure that you first try to solve with your tenants if there's any way of keeping those because a lot of families have really been struggling over COVID. So we wanna make sure that first and foremost, those families are able to stay in the house if that's possible. Then the next option is you can either re-rent those properties or if you're looking to sell those properties, we can help you find information about how much that property is going to be worth. Just give us a call. We got all the information listed below. So my next advice is for the tenants. Obviously, the most important thing is to make sure that you're trying to avoid eviction. If you are in this category where you haven't been uh, able to afford rent due to COVID, lost job, a lot of other family situations. So make sure you check out that information that's below. It's going to have information about all the government assistance that you can apply for and how to get that financial aid. If, if for some reason you aren't able to settle that, uh, there are still a couple of options. Just because you haven't been able to pay rent, don't think that you wouldn't qualify for a loan. There are a lot of opportunities out there. We actually have a lender on our team that can help solve for a lot of those problems. Feel free to give us a call. We'll help you any way we can. And finally, for rentals, Obviously, uh, in the unfortunate situation where some people do get evicted, that does mean that there's gonna be an increase of supply on rentals being available. So if you find yourself running into that, expect to see some other opportunities for rentals becoming available if you have to find another rental yourself. So again, my name is Dennis Henderson. I'm with the Team Henderson Group based out of eXp Realty. Give us a call, let us know if you're running into these situations and if we can help you in any way. Thanks, have a great day.